Hey ladies, let's put on some mascara, 3D magic mascara is what I like to call it. So let's get to it. Make sure that you dip in, let me get the air out of my face here. Make sure that you dip in that, um, that mascara wand into that tube and you just very, very generously um, apply this coat. Okay, this is gonna be the coat that you apply two times. It's gonna be your first step and your third step. In between is when you're gonna put on the fibers but you want to really put this on generously at the beginning and at the end and if for some reason you have flaking or black um, fibers on your face guess what it means you didn't put enough of this okay so it's not um, it's not the product it's actually just user um, user you know malfunction I don't know if that's a word or a a statement but um, it just means that you gotta just kind of take a couple minutes to maybe watch the video and really um, just learn how to do it it is um, a little bit of a learning curve just a tad I mean it is mascara you put it on like mascara so I don't want to like say it's super difficult because it's not but um, you see I'm even doing it in my car so it doesn't take like a special mirror or anything like that and I'm just getting this right in there. Now I'm going into the fibers. I've dumped in the fibers and you want to clean it off on your hands so that anything like that's bunchy or um, clumpy gets off. Okay, you want to put this on immediately. So let me get to it. Um, because your, your lashes are wet from the um, gel. So you want to make sure that you get this on there when it's wet, okay? And you want to get it on there at the tips you're not going all the way to the end and then going up like you did with the first tube okay these are loose fibers ladies you don't want this in your eye so make sure you're right at the tips and you're going up 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 um and if you notice a clump get it get rid of it use the the brush right now while everything is still nice and wet to kind of play with it and you know open up the lashes okay so there it is i mean look at that you can see already so one tip that i haven't been saying and I want to really emphasize so I keep making these videos over and over again is give it a second just like you do with your nail polish you you don't just do the first coat and the second coat right after each other um, you want to you let me take that back the first and second coat you do gel fibers but then you just kind of want to wait let it dry before you seal it with the third coat and the um, the final um, transplanting gel okay I hope I didn't confuse you there it's two tubes one two this one again but let's wait until applying this one again just a couple seconds so that it dries okay um, you might want to even go on to the other eye I just if you're at the beginning I don't want you to forget to go back because um, this is a new process so I don't want you to forget to go back and seal it because if I don't seal it I am gonna get black little flakes all over my face during the day and I'm gonna wonder where my lashes are going okay so all right that's good um, now I'll go back over it and nothing is going to be really coming off of my brush now and clogging everything up and getting everything clumpy okay nothing should be clumpy nothing should be flaky nothing should be falling off this is just a couple little tips to help you out and once you get the um, process down packed you can even do it in my car in your car as well look you know while recording <laughs> but it's pretty easy um and oh i got a little piece there that fell got it all done good right looks perfect okay what I want to do is to I want to do the bottom a little bit um, and I get that on real nice there I have a little clump there I noticed so I want to fix that there and then very carefully at the beginning I gotta tell you for a few months I didn't even put it on the bottom because I was scared to get fibers in my eyes but it really does and look I'm cleaning it off on my hand and kind of just getting those fibers nice um you're I mean the edges ladies the edges okay don't get this in your eye there we go and if it gets in your eye you'll know it didn't get in my eye so I would have had to like get it out but you see look at that it opens it up give it a couple seconds to dry okay but I just want to get this done. There we go. There we go. There is my eye look. All right, so this is not actually the whole um, process I do. After I do my mascara, there's two other things that I do to give my eyes the, the look that it does. Now, obviously, I have on my... Um, 
my eyeshadow and you can check out my video on how I apply my eyeshadow that's another video that you could just look for on my YouTube channel or my Facebook page if you're on my Facebook page but where is my liner there are two other really all right maybe I'll have to skip this part I know it was in here somewhere okay it's not so It's in my hand. It's totally here. Okay. <laughs> I'll get this on. Here we go. All right. So the other thing I do to give my eyes the look, obviously the 3D mascara you see is giving it um, a great look, but my trio is eyeliner. So now I do the eyeliner in on my waterline and this eyeliner really lasts. Um, I used to just do the like dollar store, not dollar store, the um, drugstore like eyeliner the cheapest one there was didn't even matter but you know what I would put it on by the time I was done applying the rest of my makeup it'd be off and I would still do it every single time this one really stays you see you saw that it um it really stays and it lasts a lot longer and it gives that um really nice look that I love having then my other secret weapon for eyes is the brow kit and it's a pencil that you get and it has one side it has a little brush so you can go ahead and brush those lashes some ladies like going up if yours are really thin and um, there's like holes but mine are pretty full so I like combing them all in the right direction even though mine are full I want to show you what this does now if yours are not as full as mine or as dark or you have a little bit of holes you're gonna love this stuff okay because even look I am just doing little strokes to look like hair. You see at the end, it's kind of mine's thin out. So I kind of like just draw it in and I darken it up right in there. Okay. After I do that, I comb it one more time. And then I do this. This is fibers, just kind of like the, um, the ones on your lashes, but they're for your eyebrows. And it's like a gel. It kind of like, I don't want to say glues, but it like, stiffens them to, in place so you're not going to have unruly lashes which is my problem and you just get this and again it doesn't come off on your hand it kind of sticks to on to your lashes but watch them get darker and fuller they just really and I'm kind of using this also to comb at the same time dip it in and there we go this makes such such a difference um, especially if you have a lighter brows but even with my darker brows look at that you can totally tell mine are a little too skinny sometimes I like to give it a little bit more thickness but look at that so that is my eye so this is my okay my eyes okay right it's nice beautiful BAM that's the BAM eye do you see the BAM eye I like it right okay ladies tell me what you think comment subscribe like give me some love and tell me what are your um, tips for eyes what do you use Do you use mascara do you use a brow kit do you use eyeshadow do you use none of it tell me I'd love to know um, any tricks you have because you know what I'm a busy mom in a car so I'm giving you tricks to um, make your eyes look good and I want to share amongst each other so let me know in the comments all right ladies have a great day